Hello, and welcome to this short video exploring what's new in Phrasebox 1.2. We've added a few features in incremental updates since launch, and version 1.2 brings together a host of new changes and improvements. This video will go over some of the major new additions and changes since the initial release. The first thing you'll notice is that we've modified the theme a little. The main colour is now green instead of blue, and the general design is much cleaner. You'll notice that sliders now have handles, and if we look at the range sliders, there are now two handles, making it easier to set values. We've also made some other UI and usability tweaks, such as greying out the controller buttons if there are no envelope points set, and showing a little icon when hovering over buttons that have a right-click menu. In the playback section, we've added a few new sliders for modifying the notes during playback, and a new generation setting for limiting the number of rows. At the top of the window, you'll notice a few new buttons relating to new playback modes. And finally, the piano roll area has also had many improvements added since launch. Let's take a look at the playback section first. In the 1.2 update, we've added a chance option to the random velocity slider. When at the maximum, all notes will have a random velocity applied, but as you lower the chance, random fluctuations in velocity are less likely to happen. We've additionally added both a random transpose and a random octave slider that works similarly to the random velocity slider. If you set a random transpose or octave range, notes will be transposed within the range you defined. The probability of a pitch change is dependent on the chance slider value. On the generation page, there's a new option for setting how many generation rows are used when you click the Generate button. By default, it's set to use all eight rows, but you can lower this value if you only want to generate a few rows. The piano roll has had many improvements added since the initial release. This includes features such as holding the Shift key to select multiple notes, or drawing a selection rectangle. Multiple notes can be dragged around and nudged with the arrow keys on the keyboard. And their velocities and other modifiers can also be modified as a group. If you hold down Shift in the Velocity window, you can draw multiple velocity values. If you right-click in the piano roll, you'll find a host of new options. The copy and paste options let you copy phrases even between different instances. You can quickly fill a row using the Quick Fill Row option, and also delete an entire row. In addition to the Quick Fill Row option, you can create more complex patterns by using the Fill Row Pattern option. The first number is how many steps a note is in length and the second number is how many steps of silence there should be. For example, the 4 slash 0 option will create notes of 4 steps in length with no gaps, and 2 slash 2 will have notes with 2 steps in length and 2 steps of space. Another new option is to create a strum pattern. You can select any number of notes, a direction, and a speed. Each phrase can also have its own colour for quickly identifying sections of your song. You can show the key bindings at any time for more information. Since the initial release of Phrasebox, we've included playback options as buttons above the piano roll. If you're running a recent version of Phrasebox, you may have already seen these options but with the 1.2 update, we've added another two. The first button enables syncing to your DAW. By default, this is on, and Phrasebox will play in time with your DAW's timeline. Music 
If you disable this option, then Phrasebox will only trigger when it receives input, resetting each time you completely stop playing. The second button only works when you're not synced to the DAW and enables looping the phrase. By default, looping is enabled, but if you disable it, you will get a one-shot mode. The third button is a latch button and works similar to how a hold pedal works on a piano. When you play in notes, they continue to play until you either disable latch mode or play a new set of notes in. This helps for rapid prototyping of phrases and during live playback, so you can play a chord and then have your hands free immediately. Fill missing notes will automatically fill up to all eight rows based on your input. As Phrasebox maps your played notes to the rows in the piano roll, if you only play in a three notes triad, then only rows 1 to 3 will create output. Enabling the autofill will intelligently fill all eight rows so you can create more complex phrases spanned across a larger range. If you right click the button, you can select how many rows to autofill. Another new option is phrase key switching. In previous versions, the only way to change phrase number during playback was to automate the phrase parameter. In 1.2, you can now also use key switching to change phrase on the fly using input MIDI notes. When enabled, each of the phrases are mapped from note C to B, and by default, use octave 1, resulting in the notes C1 to B1 being mapped to the phrases. Simply play one of the notes to instantly change phrase. If you right-click the button, you can change what octave Phrasebox responds to. We hope you enjoy all the new features in this release. You can update for free by grabbing the latest installer file from our website. Thanks for watching.